Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So today we are going to talk about such custom ROM community which was famous since day one for its customization and gaming performance. It got famous since Android 10 as it has got introduced since the Android 10 and they won millions of hearts since then. The community is called as the Corvus and they call their ROM as a Corvus OS. So they have did a comeback with Android 13. So introducing the latest and official build of Corvus OS of version T5.1. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see how to install this amazing ROM. So as usual, at the very first time, we need some files. So moving to the files manager, you can see these files which I have actually stored in my OTG USB drive. So clicking on that, I have created one folder inside which I have kept all these files. This is the file of ROM zip, this is the DFE and this is firmware and also TWRP. Make sure you use this latest TWRP of version 3.7 to install all the Android 13 ROMs as to get your ROM booted successfully. Now let's shut down our device and boot to recovery by pressing volume up and power button. So here we go. Just keep them pressed for a while until you see the boot animation of POCO. And here it gets boot into the recovery itself. So moving further you have to click on wipe and advance wipe and wipe all the partitions. As usual the drill goes. You have to wipe all the partitions including the system EXT as this is a system EXT based recovery. Once you have checked all the boxes, you just have to swipe to confirm flash. So once you do this, you just have to go back and locate the files which you have stored for your ROM installation. So over here I am selecting the USB OTG drive and navigating to the Android 13 installation folder. At the very first time, I will select the file which is the firmware. So once I select the firmware, then click on add more zips and select the ROM file. First we have to do this step, once you do this just swipe to confirm flash. As you can see that the flashing process is taking some time and over here the firmware has been flashed successfully and now our main installation of the Corvus OS will take place. This installation will take about 3 to 5 minutes so till then have some patience and don't click any of the button or else you will end up being into boot loop maybe. So let's forward this video and now as you can see that our installation has been completed and all these successful notes which justified that your installation has been completed successfully. So just now move back and click on the mount. Now mount the vendor by clicking on the vendor option. Now again go back click on install and now click the DFE which is disable force encryption. Once you select this you just have to swipe to confirm flash. And within a second you will see that the DFE has been flashed successfully. Now just go back, click on reboot and now reboot to system. So once you click on reboot it will take, it will take some while. And once this POCO logo gets flashed, you will see that your Corvus OS boot animation will get loaded. So over here as you can see this is the new boot animation of the Corvus OS. That means our ROM has been flashed successfully and now it's getting booted into the system. Just wait for a while, it will take about 5 to 6 minutes to get booted and we will fast forward this video, here we go. Our ROM has been booted successfully and now we're just doing some of our basic setup. Clicking on the language and doing all the other stuff. Let me set up this device and I will come back after setting this all. So as you can see that our phone has been set up successfully and now our ROM has been working super smooth. So now just click on this uh, settings icon and you will see all the other things inside it. Clicking on this icon of Corvus OS you will see that amazing animation of welcome and seeing all the details of the ROM which is of version T5.1 named as Deja Vu. Clicking on about phone section you will get all the general settings which you usually get. 
no doubt Corvus actually have some great customizations and also the kind of user interface they make is really really user friendly and you will really like it. This is the Android 13 easter egg as usual and pretty much obvious. So having at the first look it seems that the ROM is pretty much interesting. Moving to other settings this is all what we see in other ROMs too. They have they have departed these two sections into cover setting and other section which says something about the normal settings and about that this is something which says about the ROM so that's pretty much good from here when you click on the Raven desk you will see that you can also have your OT updates clicking on checking for updates you will get OT and you can directly install from your existing build of the covers OS itself so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you again in the next one and also comment down below in the description if you want the full review of this rom till then see you again next time peace out